breaking news. Atari buys Intellivision from the company that most recently owned it. And the news comes out of nowhere for most of us and was broken on Twitter via the official Atari account. It quotes Wade Rosen, stating that Atari has united former competitors and acquired a large library of over 200 games. But the company they purchased the Intellivision properties from will continue to move forward with the Amico, which of course is the failed console attempt started by Tommy Tellerico many years ago. So what does all this mean for fans of Atari and television and the future of all the companies involved? Well, I thought I could give my take into the benefits and possible pitfalls of this move and why it's important to the future of retro gaming preservation. So the word for my subscribers is that most Intellivision games now move over to Atari, with the exception of a few sold prior to the deal. This is namely games like Shark Shark and Astro Smash. But again, Atari claims that 200 titles are now owned by them, and this expands their ever-growing catalog of games from the 2600 and television era and beyond. Previously, they grabbed the M Network library, along with a few other companies and titles, such as Bubsy. It would be incredible to see a definitive 1970s through 1980s collection of the biggest and best games from the time, which Atari has not mentioned, but how could they not do this when they own so many of these games now? But what Atari has done to this point is released in television t-shirts over at Atari.com. Yay. And they say more apparel and products are to come, and you know what, why not? The current owners of the Amico apparently still get certain properties and game licenses to the Amico moving forward. But really, this move must mean that Amico needed money more than the Intellivision name. And the value of the Intellivision name to Amico has had to have been of little benefit, especially after the failures to launch and the scandals revolving around former company head, Tommy Tallarico. The Intellivision name was getting drug in the dirt, and getting out before there was no value left is a smart idea although I'm not sure how much they got for it. But those holding their breath for the Amico console and the service that they've announced, well, I would say the future doesn't bode well. In my opinion, the company appears to be just staying afloat and keeping their head above water for years now. And this is probably another attempt in keeping their head above water. But I know little of Intellivision and this is all speculative. But what I do know about is Atari and I'm hopeful that we can see some great compilations and updates to bigger profile classics from Intellivision. Atari's Recharge series has been given second life to some of Atari's biggest games and even some of their forgotten classics, and they could do more of the same with Intellivision properties. Putting them into the Recharge series can make sense, but a compilation would be the easiest way to benefit in the short term. A sort of Intellivision Vault release on the VCS, Switch, and Steam could be a good idea, especially if they can spruce up the package like they did in previous compilations. But I'm still curious as to what the ultimate goal of Atari really is. They're collecting game properties and IPs like most of us collect cartridges and consoles, and there has to be some sort of payoff. If there isn't, well, then this is more of a waste of money than anything else. I think Atari is gearing up to release some major titles using things like the return of Bubsy, and I feel that a massive ROM compilation could be coming. Think about it. Atari could release the end-all, be-all compilation of the greatest games of the pre-NES era. And if they package it like they did the Atari 50th, well, it would be a must-have historical piece for fans and gamers alike. Now, I don't know that they do this for sure, but this has to be one of their ideas moving forward, right? It only makes sense. I've also seen speculation on a sort of Intellivision Plus, and this could be possible if there is value in reproducing cartridges. Just based off of the 2600 Plus, and the initial response to that console, and the things I'm hearing from the community, well, that was a smash hit. But that console can run both 2600 and 7800 games, and it makes the 7800 accessible to HD and modern televisions for the first time ever. If they could do the same for Intellivision, it could sell well. But I feel they need to be able to benefit on the software end too. I myself have always wanted an Intellivision. Well, no, I've actually won one since I started collecting games heavily in the 2000s. But it's a console I just haven't messed with. Because the 7800 occupied my RF, and I really don't want a bunch of RF consoles. Having a simple HD version could do the trick. But I don't want to see a plug-and-play in television, and that might be the more likely route than an Intellivision Plus, in my opinion. It's just much cheaper, easier, and a safer bet, especially to test the waters. But all in all, the big winner in all of this is, of course, Atari. 
especially if they can capitalize on the games and the name like they have with their own stuff. And I think they could if they really want to, but I imagine that they have to do a lot of market research and stuff like that before any large-scale releases are done. Prior to that, expect a lot of small items, such as the t-shirts that they're already putting out. The former Intellivision, that I'm now dubbing Amico, wins in the short term by staying afloat a little bit longer, but that company lacks direction, and I feel like they've been sunk by their previous mouthpiece. I don't expect to see or hear anything from Amico besides the usual 5-6 to six month updates to state that they're still alive and things are moving along. The consumers could win out big, but nothing has happened with previous purchases to this point. But I'd argue that Intellivision is more valuable than the M Network and other similar libraries of games. I expect to see something in the next two years regarding some sort of Intellivision product, and maybe an announcement in the next few months about a ROM compilation or some updated games. That's my take on the purchase, but what do I know? Really, I want to hear what you all think. Do you think we'll see an Intellivision Plus? Do you think the former company will stick around for a while? Or is it now dead in the water without the Intellivision name? Is the purchase of Intellivision and the library of games a smart one? Give me your take on all this in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe. We put out two videos a week, sometimes more when big news hits like this one. So hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload. And thank you to the following classy Atarians for supporting me on Patreon and YouTube memberships. My own Celestial, OG Hugo, Head Trauma Bob, Jolt7800, Ball Gobbler, Socrates63, Fence the Spook, Mr. Shua TV, Jeremiah Thomas, and Hugh Jass 79 Thank you all for the support. Okay guys, thanks for joining me in this quick video. I've been the 7800 Pro Gamer, and this has been my hot take on the Intellivision purchase. Until next time, thanks for watching the video, and remember to stay classy, Atarians.